Pronunciation is important. In fact, there are some words in English where the pronunciation is so important that even changing one sound can completely change the meaning. Sometimes people will understand what you mean, but sometimes you can find yourself saying something really offensive or embarrassing. Ooh, can I have a piss? Yeah, sure. Toilet's right there. Huh? So what was wrong in this example? Well, this guy pronounced the word peace as piss, which is another name for urine. It's an easy mistake to make though, because peace and piss sound exactly the same, except for one sound. Here are two more examples where making the same mistake can be offensive or embarrassing. What do you want to do this weekend? I just want to spend some time on a hot bitch. Sorry? I love bitches. It's just a shame the ones around us aren't hot. Hi there, this is Reese. I've got a room booked for tonight. Ah, oh, yes, we're looking forward to your visit. What can I help you with? Yeah, I'm going to arrive quite late. Would you mind putting a shit on the bed, please? Uh, no, sir. This is a classy hotel. Let's talk about minimal pairs. In pronunciation, minimal pairs are pairs of words where only one sound is different. For example, the word pan has three sounds. P, a, n. But if we change just one of these sounds, we can create a new word. Ban, pin, pat. And now we've created three minimal pairs. Because the words are so close, they can sometimes get mixed up by non-native speakers. This is especially true when the sounds are very similar, like with e and i. So let's look at what's different. All vowel sounds happen here, in the largest part of the mouth. Ah, eh, i, o, uh. The way we change vowel is with the shape of the lips and the position of the tongue. For the sound e, we need to almost close our mouths and make our lips and tongue wide. This is usually a long sound. E. 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 For the i sound, our mouths are a little more open and our tongues and lips are relaxed. This is a short sound. I. 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 Let's see if you can hear the difference. Which one am I saying? Bin. 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 Leak. 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 Lead. 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 Hip. 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 Sheep. 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 Now it's your turn. So repeat after me. Deep. Deep. Dip. Dip. Eat. 
eat. It. It. Feet. Feet. Fit. Fit. Ween. Ween. Win. Win. Reap. Reap. Rip. Rip. Let's take another look at those earlier examples. This time with the correct pronunciation. Ooh, can I have a piece? Yeah, no worries, mate. Do you want butter on it? What do you want to do this weekend? I just want to spend my time on a hot beach. Yeah, I love beaches. It's just a shame the ones around us aren't hot. Hi there, this is Reese. I've got a room booked for tonight. Ah, oh, yes, we're looking forward to your visit. What can I help you with? Yeah, I'm going to arrive quite late. Would you mind putting a sheet on the bed, please? Yes, not a problem, sir. We look forward to your visit. Great, thank you so much. See you later. Here's a bonus tip. Be careful when you're saying the name of this drink. Oh man, I'm so thirsty. I need some cock. What? In this example, the guy said that he wanted some cock, which is another name for a male chicken or a penis. What's worse is the word thirsty can also mean horny. It's very important that we make an O sound for this drink and not an R sound. So, repeat after me. O. O. Coke. 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 Oh man, I am so thirsty. I need some Coke. Well, there's a 7-Eleven around the corner. We can go now if you want. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, please do it now. You've got nothing to lose. And if you want to practice some more, don't forget you can always re-watch a video. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.